Hello and welcome to my reaction to new Genshin version trailer for version 4.5 Blades Weaving Bet Wixt Brocade. What? I have no idea to pronounce that. Bet Wixt? No, I guess it's not that hard, but what does it even mean? Bet Wixt? Let's, uh, let's learn English with me. Let's see. Bet Wixt. Uh, between two people or things. Uh, it took it Bet Wixt, some and a four finger. With a connoisseur scare. Thanks for the example, that doesn't make more sense. In a space separating two people or things. Okay, I get it. I get it. Damn it. Bet Wixt. I'm gonna say it in all my years of like listening to people speaking English. I don't know if I've ever heard anyone say that word. I'm just gonna say it. So, thanks Genshin. I learned something. You know, we said Gacha Game at you down. But yeah, uh, obviously, you know, 4.5, we're getting advanced. You know, I was really thinking recently, like, it would be time for Chlorine Day to come out. Like, obviously, you guys know I've been saving um, for us since 4.2, right? I, I got, uh, I got um, you know, wait, uh, was it in 4.3 we got Navia? Yeah, I got Navia in 4.3, and uh, Chlorine Day I wanted her since, you know, I got Navia because um, Yuri, that's what I have to say. And yeah, I just feel like, you know, I mean, maybe they're keeping her for like one of the later kind of like update of Fontaine, you know, to keep up the hype maybe, but frankly, for me, it's like the opposite. I feel like my hype is dying by the second as far as like, it's just been so long already, you know, she was like super, well, fairly relevant in main story and all that. And now, you know, we're getting like uh, Chiori, which is cool um, before that, but, you know, I don't know. As one Chlorine Day, that's all I have to say. I'm still up for the update. I've been playing Genshin every day, doing ton of stuff, you know, upgrading characters, doing uh, daily missions, etc. Like racking up every gems that I can. I've also gone for like 100% in main region recently. Um, I've done Mondo. It was pretty hard in some, part, in some parts, more than you think. I've just done Liyue, and now I started doing Sumeru for like uh, 100%, which we all know when it says 100%, there's still some chess missing, but even then, I'm satisfied anyway. Anyway, so let's watch this update. Link in the description for the original video, the link to the Yenjin channel, the link to my Discord if you want to follow me, my stream element, and Patreon if you want to support me. Let's check it out. Wow, I can't believe I'm holding the key to shaking up Mondstadt's entire oh. wine industry in my own two hands! Okay. I forgot about the wine festival. It was good this year. To turn water into wine? Alternatively, a strength-enhancing potion could make it so that Pinewood could take down an abyss mage all on her own. That should be useful. That'd be nice. from walking on all that rough terrain. It's like it was never there. With this in my arsenal, I bet I could deliver 200 orders in a single day. Wow. Let's drink a monster energy and be fine. Coming through. Coming through. And I love Shiori's design. No, just ran into a bit of trouble. Hmm. Wow. Some cool dungeons. Oh. No one can tell me. Thundering seamstress, uh, couturière of Cartless Cutter. Couturière is like the French word for yeah, like uh, I guess Taylor. You know, Taylor but feminine. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I love her design. I love her design again. Yeah. She's cool as hell. She's not a super hype character, right? All she did so far was being like, you know, like a costume designer, like in the movie production in Fontaine. But, you know, she still really looks sick. I love the color scheme. What to do? Mm, so, Joel Blade. Let's go, Tomato. This is good, Tomato. Okay. You know. Delicate has silk. Like those black transparent lights are pretty nice. That's what I have to say. That's what I have to say about the design. Navia. Navia, the best of. I'd like to return my outfit. You tell. You trying to sell us, huh? You didn't get bought out by my competitors, did you? Ah, she really is great. Yeah. If I was a paying player, I'd probably go for her, yeah? Alchemy Quest and Shun. Oh. Oh, yeah, there was that uh, in the Wine Festival last year, like, I guess, like, uh, like you were operating a stand, selling stuff. It wasn't super interesting, but, you know, I liked it anyway. But oof. Maybe it'll make it deeper this time, but probably not. As always, all the event minigames are meant to be as baby mode as possible. Interesting. 
and decoy to this. Oh, but the cat. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's, that's... <coughs> Sorry about that. That's pretty good. What do you cost fire? A cannon minigame? Okay. But again, as I always say, like, they may be baby mode, but the variety is fun for all these events. That's for sure. That's for sure. Oh, this photo thing, they used to do that, yeah. They have an overflow. It feels like it's always overflowing. Oh man, that sort is sick. Ulaku Misugiri. Yeah, that's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Okay, well, um, I saw one of you, was it probably maybe on, on Discord said like, you know, this is clearly like a filler patch. Sure, I, uh, clearly seems like it, right? But nonetheless, I'm looking forward to filler patch. I mean, they can be fun. Um, will Shuri, you know, be a super popular character? Probably not. But again, I guess they're saving Clorinde. Like at this point, Clorinde is like the only, you know, front-end character that's like still hype that hasn't been released. So maybe they're saving her for like 4.6 or 7, you know? Like, uh, as like the last Ura of, uh, of Fontaine before we move on to Netland, right? Again, for me, I just feel like it's kind of like not the best. Like, Clorinde should have released already. Uh, it's starting to feel like, yeah, it's been such a while. Like, come on, get to it already. But like, maybe it's just me because I've been saving for her, right? Um, I'm going to be at like 30,000 gem by the time she comes. More than I had with Navia saving for like so long. Um, Navia and, Clo and uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, Navia and Fulina. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, so, so yeah, pretty hype anyway. I mean, it should be fun. It should be fun again. Like since you know, uh, four point two, and you know, Fulina story really brought me back into Genshin. I've been playing every day, doing the commission, like farming for different characters. You know, to have like a better team so I can always do the abyss and and get all the reward. Uh, like right now, as I said, I've been going for like one hundred percent to different region. Uh, and it's been going slowly but smoothly. I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm pretty back into Genshin. There's a lot to enjoy. Like, Genshin, you know, at this point, I've played so many, you know, hundreds of hours, right? It's like, it's just a comfort kind of thing. It's like home, you know, just walking around, picking up random stuff, killing random enemies, you know. It's just like a, a comfort food kind of kind of thing. Um, but yeah, Chiori looks awesome. That's my review. Chiori looks awesome. Okay, okay, well, uh, yeah, looking forward to the update. Obviously, I'll be streaming it. Come watch if you want. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. As always, look, uh, look, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. See you. See you, see you.